This one goes out to my crafters that are also Disney adults. Hey neighbor, it's Ryan from Hippie Witch Heart. Welcome back to another unboxing video of me with yarn. Today we are unboxing the Princess Set 2 from Dragon Horde Yarn. Uh, without further ado, shall we? We shall. If you're new to the channel, hi, welcome. We do something called The Brew Crew, where we grab a different beverage, talk about it, and then get into our content. It's like a nice little way for us to have more of a community, make it more casual while we completely rip these dyers apart. If you've been here before, you'll notice that this is a different water bottle than I've been using during all of the rest of these unboxings, and that's because I have carbonated water today. I'm very excited to put this flavor in sparkling, and we're gonna see if it tastes good. Water Drop says that you can throw it in sparkling or still water, and I've just been doing still because it's easy, but I have a soda stream. So let's get, um, ASMR. Let's get bubbly, shall we? This is the leftover of the Water Drops advent calendar while I am unboxing today's flavor, which it's the Nero, here goes nothing. If you would like to get some of these flavors for yourself, you can find a link in the description as well as the pinned comment for $15 off an order of $35 or more. It is currently non-spawn, but I'm gonna get that sponsorship. Sparkling water, we're gonna see how this goes, and the Nero, if we remember this is, whew, if we remember this is the caffeinated flavor that Water Drop offers, so we're gonna see, please don't explode. Last time I tasted this, because there were two rounds of each flavor in the advent, it, I thought this one would have tasted better as a, a spicy water. So we're gonna give it some time to do its spicy thing. While that's happening, I'm going to, hey, put the lid back on, this is scaring me. I'm gonna let this do its thing while we go through the big advent from Water Drop. I only have a few days left, and that means that we're getting into the good stuff. I think it's a flavor, maybe. This one seems a little bigger than the other flavors have been. This pack of snow, which was the first flavor that we unboxed for the advent, uh, blueberry, blackberry, and apple. I, are we ready? We unboxed the first set of the Summer Princess here in one of our previous videos, and I had some interesting things to say about it. It also was a like one variegated one tonal one variegated one tonal this one is all variegated so without further ado the colors that we're gonna be unboxing in this are in this photo Cinderella Mulan Elsa Pocahontas Aurora Nala and Tiana I did not get princess set one because it wasn't there when I went to order but this was for the most part I only have the group photo that you see here but a few of them had other photos with them, and I think it was like two or three of them, but they were sock sets because that's how this was being sold. Uh, so it's not just the individual, it's like the sock and the tonal that goes with it, but those were the same base. And if we remember from literally any of the other videos that we've had from Dragon Horde, if it's not in the same base, the colors don't really match the same just based on the minis versus the full skein. There's a little discrepancy there. So to be more fair to Tristan from Dragon Horde, we are gonna base it off of the sock because that's the same. Yeah. First things first, this is Myth Sock. So it's 75% uh, Merino, Superwash Merino, 25% nylon, 20 grams with 92 yards. So they're pretty, they're pretty solid in their length. First up we have Cinderella. This is the Cinderella sock set. I think it's really pretty, just like in the photo before we even look at the yarn. It obviously has that same thing going on that Dragon Horde does where they lighten the yarns because it's not the same colors. It's a little brighter in this, like the whites are brighter, whereas the skein looks more gray. Makeup girlies. This is Cinderella. We're gonna, like you can see what I mean, that it's it's more gray than the um, actual photo is. Like if we're looking at it, it's the yellows are, are pretty similar, although they're a little more like sunflower bright and they're a little in the photo, and this one they're a little more like Crayola. I don't mean that as an insult, that's just the only color I can think of. And this blue seems a bit more like dark blue versus the sky blue colors they have in here, but this obviously, like, I think of Cinderella when I see this. It feels true to the character. I really do like the fact that she has this like blue paired with it for the um, sock. I don't make socks. We've discussed in previous videos that I don't like them. I mean, Austin and I literally bought a pair of house shoes today just to wear around the house because I, I don't like socks. I don't like feeling them on my toes. So I don't plan on making them, but I do think that these are cool colors to put together. Up next, we have Mulan, and this is the photo of that one. It is really pretty. I also like that it's offset with this like pale, uh, creamy. It honestly looks like Cozy Cashmere from this video that I unboxed, the Greek themed ones. I think it highlights some of the colors in there really well. Makeup girlies. This doesn't read the same to me in the the 
grays. Like, they're not... It's not really far off. This is definitely closer than most of the other ones. But the reds, just kind of like right here, is, is brighter. But I feel like there's more red tones in the actual photo than there are in the skein itself. But the grayish tones in here look more purpley in the photo, like a lavender, than they do in this. I don't hate it. I don't quite see Mulan in this, though. Like, the photo looks like it's off of her outfit, whereas this just feels dark to me. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't have the same bright colors and like red tones to it that I would have really liked to see. From a distance it all looks like one color versus bringing it up here and then you can kind of see some of the definition in it. I just don't think this one reads very well. Sorry. Next we have Elsa and I only have that in the group photo. There wasn't um, one that was still available for this. But that looks really similar to the photo for once. Um, I definitely think that it's a little brighter in the photo but it feels like the photos are highlighted um, or brightened. Yeah, it. the colors aren't bad. I really wish that this would have had more definition or depth to it, because when I think of Elsa, I think of a lot more. I just She has more to her than just the blue, you know? Like, there's different shades of blue in there. There's those, like, teal colors. There's, like, a little bit of green or purple. This dress is one that she wears for quite a bit before she gets the icy thing. I don't feel like any of these colors translate to that. This is purely focused on this gown, which it's fine. That is a terribly blurry photo. I'm sorry. It's fine because it, it hits like, oh, it's blue and it's icy, but I don't think it's the same tones. I don't think it's the same colors. This looks more aquatic than it is icy for me. Um, I think it's pretty, but this doesn't strike me as Elsa, this strikes me as like water. Uh, I would have loved to see some of that soft pale blue, which is kind of here, but it's not offset by like the teals to give it the texture of being cold or like that like feeling of being cold. It's just very wet. Next we have Nala. Uh, it's really bright and it has fun like sunsetty colors in it. It looks like Nala and Scar and just the color scheme of the Lion King in this photo. It's really nice and the very, very bright autumny colors and then they don't translate <laughs> at all this is so much darker than that photo is like those look at those yellows versus these yellows they're they're not even the same uh this is a pretty fall color but i wouldn't say that these match they they don't invoke the same feeling and i don't get lion king from this looking at it um from the photo i do i can see nala and like i can understand the inspiration for it but this just this is like plum and like a soft brown, not a yellow at all. So it's a miss for me, unfortunately. This is Aurora from Sleeping Beauty and it's it's pretty fair. Um, this one looks very light. Like I got way more white in this skein than I do of the pinks, but I can tell that what this is supposed to be. Like this is supposed to be Aurora's colors. It looks like the pink dress that she wears. This honestly, I mean, it could have come off a bit like Cotton Candy or Trans Pride, but um, I would have loved to see the pink and the blue in this for her gowns. Because, yes, we all know that she has, you know, this going on in the pinks and she, like, her whole outfit is that. But that's one of the, the best known moments from the movie, so that would have been really cool to see. Um, again, this whole collection just feels gray to me with the bright colors in it. It's, well, not even bright. It has like the pops of like the yellow and the, the purple and the plum and that. And then this one has just like fuchsia e bits in it, but they don't look the same. Like this is really, really white and washed out compared to the photo, which is just more pink and little bits of yellow, which I don't really have any of that in here. It looks like, yeah, it looks like mine is just, you know, the whites, the fuchsias, and the, well, the grays, the fuchsias, and the, the, like, dark purple. And go into Tiana, which, that gorgeous. I think that's a really pretty color. Unfortunately, I don't have that in mine. This is Tiana. This looks like moss to me. Um, I think it would have been more effective because the color of her as a frog to do the opposite, where it's like this is like a lime green skein and then have some of this mossy, f have hunter-y 
green on top of it. It just doesn't read. It just looks very dark. And if I take the little thing off, that's like the brightest bit that I have. Quite disappointing, honestly, especially because Tiana is a princess that I definitely feel like doesn't get enough credit. Come on, look at Cinderella and then look at this. Look at the way, like that looks multicolor. You can tell it's Cinderella. This looks just green. It's just green. And it's not even like a good green. It's just, just green. Lastly, we have Pocahontas. The photo is, is pretty. It is very like earthy, like that coffee-ish color and then it has like a really nice teal green in it. I personally think that I like this brown more the way it reads on the actual yarn because it feels more woody to me than coffee but I would have loved to see more of that green because I don't feel like this is the same green in the yarn as it is in the photo. In the yarn it's definitely dark. Um, it's closer to what Tiana should have looked like honestly uh, and it has some really nice like blue hints to it, like very earthy and jewel tones. I like these colors because they look very woody and earthy, but I, I definitely think having more of the like brighter brown would have highlighted that bark texture in it because this is supposed to look, I'm assuming like Grandmother Willow is what it makes me think of and like Pocahontas' dress and whatnot, but then the green just doesn't, it's not bright enough and it looks kind of like, especially here, that looks kind of muddy to me, makeup girlies, uh, and I, I think that needs something I don't quite know well well that's 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 what we got here I definitely feel like this dragon horde is just not true to the photos I think that they're darker than the photos give off the whites aren't as white the the, the pops of color aren't as bright and yes I understand that on her website it says I try to take them as true as I can but during certain camera see screens and everything will make them look a little different than the photos that's not a little different than the photo that's like highlighted different are they fun colors sure like those are they're fun and they definitely you know have some inspiration from the the princesses in them but i don't think they're true to the photo and that's that's just disappointing that was 63 dollars um and yeah it's a good amount of yarn yeah it's a good quality yarn but the colors i don't know what i'm supposed to do with that like what can i make with this other than something that has all of them in it and then if people are like oh what's the inspiration Great question. I would put them in a different order. So I would do maybe that. I think that kind of works, but Tiana kind of throws it all off because look how dark that is compared to the rest of them. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. What order would you put these in? Tell me in the comments. All right, well, we only have one more Dragon Horde, so then I can move on to different dyers. Yeah. Again, Ella's snoring in the background, so if you've been hearing that the whole video, I'm sorry. Now, look at how dark this has gotten. All right, let's... Wait, 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 ready? ASMR. Delicious. Ooh. I'm gonna regret this. Honestly, that's really good. Carbonation, it should be a little bit colder for me, um, just cause I like it super cold when I'm drinking it, but definitely better. The flavors for Nero are blackberry, cola nut, and guarana. Sugar-free, low calorie, vitamin C, B6 and B12. It's got some, some caffeine in it. It definitely helps. I had it before work the other day and I actually felt really good. It, I, I felt smooth, not crazy caffeinated. So if you're looking for a coffee or soda alternative, check it out. They also have a few other flavors of their, their caffeinated versions. This is just the one I got. I don't really need caffeine. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't have a use for it, but if you got it, let me know. Let me know what your opinions on <sighs> bubbly. Let me know what your opinions are on all of the Dragon Horde colors in this collection. I want to know what princess was your favorite and which one you think looked accurate or the most accurate. Like which one would you actually want to make something with? Don't forget to check out the water drop link in the description for $15 off an order of 35 or more and go get yourself some flavors. Let me know what you're drinking and I will see you in the next one. Bye.